What is going on everyone? My name is Ken, also known as Wiltshire, and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to finally kick the DS3 tool to the curb by showing you guys how to load your Motion and Joy drivers for your PlayStation 3 controller without the DS3 tool. Alright, so the very first step that we're going to take, and this is for the Windows 8 users, you must take this step in order to use the controller on Windows 8. Now if you're on Windows 7, I'm not sure if you're going to have the same problem as Windows 8 because they do share the same features, but if, if you don't have problems then you don't have to follow this at all, but if you do have problems, please refer back to this step. So the very first step that we're going to do is we, we need to disable the automatic driver installation feature that's in Windows 8. Now we can do this by going to the start menu, right clicking on computer, and going to properties. This will bring up a window that is our system information. Now what we want to click is on the left hand side here. What we want to click is the advanced system settings. This will bring up another window. And what we want to do is we want to go to the hardware tab and click on device installation settings. And this will bring up yet another window. By default, it'll be set to yes, do this automatically in brackets recommended. Now I do recommend that you really, really, really recommend that you turn this back on once we're done with this process. Now what we're going to choose is going to choose no, let me choose what to do. And instead of always install the best driver software from Windows Update, we're going to say never install it and we're going to save these changes. Now we're doing this because Windows 8 will automatically say no you're not modifying the drivers to these devices these devices are working normally and it won't let us touch them. So without that enabled we can now load the drivers for Motion and Joy for our PlayStation 3 controller as well as a Bluetooth dongle if you have one. And I'll be going through both of those steps right now. So what you need to do next is you need to download either the PS3 controller drivers for a 32-bit processor or the drivers for the 64-bit processor. Now most of you will have a 64-bit processor unless your computer is a little bit older then you'll have to choose the x86 which is the same thing as 32-bit. But what we're going to do is we're going to go into the start menu, go to control panel, go to hardware and sound, and go to devices and printer. Now this will load all the devices that are connected to my computer. It does take a little bit of time because it has to recognize all the devices that are connected to your computer as you can see on my screen. It's taking its sweet time to load this screen. Okay, so now that it's loaded, you'll notice that I have a Bluetooth adapter as well as a PS3 controller plugged in. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the Bluetooth adapter, go to properties, and go to hardware. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to select generic Bluetooth adapter, go to properties again. And for Windows 8, you have to click Change Settings. On Windows 7, you don't have to do this, but on Windows 8, click Change Settings. And now we are able to modify the settings for this particular device. Now what we want to do is we want to go to the Driver tab, and we want to click Update Driver. Now the next step that we want to take is we want to go to Browse My Computer for Driver Software. And as you can see, I've already selected the folder that has the Motion Enjoy drivers. So you want to select the Motion Enjoy drivers that are specific to your type of bit that you're using for your processor or your Windows operating system. We can tell this by going to computer, right clicking, and properties once again. And as you can see, I'm running a 64-bit operating system x64 based processor. And that's how you can tell if you're running an x86 or 32-bit as well as a 64-bit processor. Now, since I've already loaded this, we want to browse and go to the folder that contains our drivers. Now click OK. Click Next, and it will begin installing the drivers for that particular device. Now, once everything's loaded, we can go back and click OK. Now, as you notice, instead of generic Bluetooth adapter, it's now Motion Enjoy Virtual X Input Device for Windows. Now, I have to tell you something about the Bluetooth drivers for Motion Enjoy. It will override everything else. Now, this Bluetooth driver can only be used for your PlayStation 3 controller. So, if you have a Bluetooth mouse or keyboard, you will no longer be able to use those devices unless you install the drivers of Motion Enjoy on your Bluetooth adapter. So, be wary of that. Most people use USB, so you won't have to worry about this. I'm using a USB mouse and keyboard right now, so I'm okay. But if you have a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard again, make sure you uninstall the drivers of your Bluetooth adapter so you may use your mouse and keyboard again. So we're going to do the same settings for the PlayStation 3 controller. We're going to right click, go to properties, go to hardware once again. We're going to go to properties once again. Whoop, I'm sorry. We're going to go to USB input device and properties, not the HID compliant game controller. We're going to go to USB input device, properties. Again, click change settings if you're on Windows 7 or Windows 8 rather. Windows 7 does not have that, that option. Go to driver, Go to update driver, browse for the same folder, and we're going to load it again. So now this will load the drivers for our PlayStation 3 controller for the DS3 tool. Now you may have to restart your computer if the DS3 tool, or better DS3 rather, I'd rather have you guys use better DS3, 
If it does not recognize your, draw, your uh, controller, make sure you reset your computer. As you can see, the DualShock 3 controller has now been recognized in Better DS3, and I can apply a profile for an Xbox controller or anything I really want. And that is how you guys load your drivers without using the stupid DS3 tool. So you can finally ditch that program, you can uninstall it from your computer, and you can use Better DS3 exclusively now. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys give it a thumbs up if you found it very useful. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember guys, if it's easy to follow, it's easy to learn. I will see you guys in the next video.